Hey, welcome back home, all of my subscribers. It's nice to see you again. Those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Sunny and it's nice to meet you. Um, tonight I'm going to do the beginning section of a quick little review of the Copper Chef's Copper Eggs. Uh, it's similar to the egglets. However, the egglets are um, silicone, and it's about the same price, and I will do a review and show you some things about this in a week or two, okay? But for tonight, we're going to try the new copper eggs. Now, unlike the egglets, which need to be greased on the inside of the silicone, nowhere in the recipe book that you get with this does it say to grease them up so we're not going to grease them and we're going to just see if they release the way they're supposed to you of course you of course get a little cookbook like every other little appliance and kitchen item there's even a recipe for creme brulee which you would bake into the oven in the oven on a pan oh excuse me got the hiccups um we got Eggs Benedict, which my best friend loves Eggs Benedict. Oh, constantly behind the items, aren't I? Sorry about that. Well, we have cheesecake bites even. Um, the one thing I like about this, um, it's incredible for those of us that are trying to change our lifestyle and our eating habits because the little egg cups are perfect portion sizes so it kind of automatically helps with your controlling of course now you got to make sure that you only eat one don't eat four <laughs> okay <laughs> some people would just eat four but that's a no-no so we're gonna just eat one and uh, you crack your eggs into I wash these up and let them dry. You crack your eggs into the egg cups and then you slowly lower them down into the tray holder. And then while they're on a firm table, you gently push down on the lids. Now I want to tell you, these lids do not fit tight. So do not, I repeat, do not try to pick these egg cups up by the lids no 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 they're gonna pop right off so now I've got some water boiling in a pan over here and I'm gonna lower it down into the boiling water and then we're going to time it for 10 minutes for hard-boiled eggs and then they're gonna cool the reason I'm doing this portion tonight is uh, this way we can see what the hard boiled eggs are like. And then I'll wash up the egg cups and in the morning, after I play taxi and take my hubby to work, I will come back and I will make the creme brulee. I don't have the um, torch to make the actual um, crunchy um, sugar topping that a normal creme brulee has but at least we can see how they bake and how they taste and uh, we'll check that out okay so and then I'll be able to upload tomorrow probably about 1 o'clock Hawaiian time and um, that's my goal and 1 o'clock Hawaiian time is 4 o'clock in the afternoon California time and you can figure that out <laughs> Okay, so I have had a day of calamities, and I am counting on the law of averages to ensure that tomorrow when I wake up, it's a new day, and all the Menahunis have dispersed all the problems that I've had with my cell phone and my um, kitchen equipment everything will be over. Even my husband's um, computer at work was having glitches. Um, I think it was just a day everywhere 
this was Wednesday so when you watch this think about your Wednesday and did you have problems was there problems with your appliances in your kitchen or your computer or your cell phone tell me in the comments below because I'm thinking there's something up in the stars going on <laughs> anyhow I will be back with you in a few minutes I'm gonna set the timer I've been talking probably for a couple minutes now so I'm gonna set the timer for eight minutes and then it's supposed to let cool down for about 20 so I'll be back shortly okay bye okay so here we have them boiling the front two have no coating whatsoever in the cups and the back two I smeared a little bit of um, butter on the inside before I put the eggs and as you can see I have them submerged pretty deeply in the boil softly boiling water it takes a pretty big pan because the holder is about six inches by six inches so you need to find a pan that this will be able to fit in I had to use this really big Copper Chef one. Hi, welcome back. I want you to listen for a minute and see if you can hear out front. Well, not that beep, beep, beep. If you listen really hard, you can hear the theme from The Godfather playing. And I thought it was so funny. I was trying to turn this on quickly so you could hear it. But, um... In the mainland, you have ice cream trucks, and they play their little ditty. Over here, our, we call it our Manapua truck, because they sell Manapuas, which is a bun with um, pork meat or chicken inside the middle. And they sell all other kinds of stuff, like fried noodles and rice cakes. And uh, probably, if you know the code word, they'll sell you some weed. <laughs> because that was the word out when my daughter was a teenager. Anyhow, I have taken the eggs out of the boiling water, okay, and I've taken off these little tops. Uh, once again, I wanna remind you, these little lids do not stick on, so just don't count on them, okay? Now these first two, um, I had taken and I rubbed a little bit of butter on the inside of them, the cup, before I broke the egg in there. So let's see if it's going to come out. Here's the egg. Oh, it looks loose. Shake it a little bit. Still hot. Mmm, that looks like it turned out really, really well. Okay, let's see if the other one. I think my fingers are pretty um, used to heat, having done so many cooking. So I'm going to try to. Here's the second one with the butter. Come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> all right. Winner, winner, hard-boiled egg dinner. Woo-hoo! Okay, now, so the ones with a little bit of butter, it was the tiniest amount just rubbed on the inside. Those popped out. Now, ouch. Let me get one where I didn't put any coating. Now, remember, the booklet says don't use the sprays because uh, the sprays are um, going to make it all gunked up and then their copper non-stick is not going to work so I didn't spray it uh-oh uh-oh oh <gasps> it finally came out but it doesn't look so good here let me show you the the inside of the cup you can see how it kind of clung see not only around the edge 
but d down deep in the cup. Look at this cup that I um, put a little bit of butter. See the difference? How it didn't stick? Okay, so that's the trick. Just take a little bit of softened butter, because I always keep my butter out at room temperature. So I just took a little bit and just rub it all on the inside and the sides, and then I put my egg in. So, I guess this one here, which was also, now see, let me see if I, if I can kind of loosen the edges around with my fingers. Let's see if that'll make a difference. Of course, do not, do not compromise the supposed non-stick by, um, This is hot. I'm using a little napkin to loosen the sides. Now let's see if I give it a shake, if this one will come out. This is another one with no, not, no, oh. You just really have to shake it hard. But once again, see, so way better with the butter. Butter makes everything better. Okay, so maybe I should take a bite. Should I take a bite? My dogs are saying, take a bite, mommy, take a bite. Um, I'm going to bite the ones that have a little butter on them. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Mmm. I would make sure that your eggs get done, kind of peek at them. You might need to cook it like, depending on how hard of a boil you've got it, if it's a rolling boil and it's really, really going. Um, this pan, the problem with um, this pan in my, um, I showed you that pan. Um, on my cooktop is because my cooktop top only turns on where there's magnet or something that can be magnetized so um, this is a rectangle and only the circular part of the center uh, will turn on the thing so it's got uh, and it's a square thing so uh, pan so the edges don't get as hot therefore I can't get a full rolling boil in this pan Unfortunately, the 6x6 six six holder would not fit in any of my other pans so that were deep enough. But, mmm, that egg tastes really yummy. I could have used to cook it maybe another minute. But it's not bad. It's all the way done hard. It's just uh, the top portion of it is... Um, not as hard as the bottom portion. Anyhow, um, I'm going to wash these up and I will try the creme brulee or the cheesecake and I'll make an update um, to put on YouTube for that, okay? I want to go ahead and upload this and so there we have it. The Copper Chef's Copper Eggs, they do work. I think if you were making your egg soft boiled and you were going to just eat it with a spoon out of the cup in the morning, it would be so amazing. So, yeah, a little bit better. And um, I personally would suggest if you are eating them, uh, eating it, uh, any or the creme brulee or the cheesecake, anything when you're eating it directly out of here. Let's just use a plastic spoon so you don't scratch the nonstick, okay? Alrighty, well, I guess that's about it. And I'm sorry that we've had such a traumatic time trying to get this review together. Um, if Let me know if you're going to get the copper eggs and give it a try yourself. The recipes include eggs benedict, herb egg omelet, artichoke and Swiss omelet, chef salad, deviled eggs, western omelet, cheese, cheesy omelet, 
Now the cheesecake sounds really delicious. Creme brulee and creme, cream eggs. So anyhow, leave your comments below what you thought about these copper eggs. And um, then in a week or two, we'll do the same thing only with egglets. These are the silicone ones. And that's a whole different uh, animal because they're soft and you can turn them upside down and squeeze them. So we'll check those out, okay? Well, I'm going to put these eggs in the fridge and let them get cold and I can add them to my potato mac salad. Anyhow, I love you all and I hope you have a great Thursday afternoon. Um, give a girl's thumb up if you had fun today learning about the copper eggs. Okay, aloha!